Holy mackerel, well I'll be. Flying steak, kimchi, yucca frites. Hey guys, I'm here in the heart of Food Network at Chelsea Market, and Justin Warner is in the house. Today, I'm gonna whip up some Cali Fresh Korean barbecue steak with tempura fries. Yum, and a quick kimchi slaw. I'm making this all for Justin, and he has no idea that I'm serving it to him. Are you ready? Let's go. Today, I'm gonna take a traditional dish and give it my own Cali spin, using one of the year's most trendy ingredients, kimchi. First thing I'm gonna do is work on my marinade. I have soy sauce, brown sugar, garlic, ginger, and some fish sauce. Give it a little bit of a whisk just to kind of combine everything together. You smell the garlic and the ginger, it's just, it's great. This New York strip is gonna go in, close this up. Give it a little smush a smush. You wanna get all that marinade to cover that steak. And this is going to go into the fridge for at least 20 minutes, and then we're gonna grill it. Next, the kimchi slaw. Kimchi is a classic dish in Korean cooking. Usually a kimchi ferments, so it takes days. This only takes minutes, and it has the same flavor, and it's just delicious. <laughs> Give it a whisk. All this is inspired by the classic kimchi, so you're gonna get the same flavor that you would with the regular kimchi. This is Napa cabbage, or Chinese cabbage. You just cut it into small shreds, just like this. Perfect. You take our cabbage, Put this in the bowl with some shredded or julienne carrots and some sliced green onion. Mix it all up and spill it all over the place. You just gotta have fun with it, right? It's cooking, clean up later. Or make your parents, it's the same thing. So now we're gonna start grilling our beautiful beef. I have a grill pan that is screaming hot. It's smoking. Justin is gonna love this steak because it's really modern. You're gonna have that ginger and that garlic punch. Like I, words cannot describe. Instead of oiling your grill, a good thing to do is oil the steak. If you oil your grill, sometimes you might have dangerous flare-ups and this will ensure that you won't. It's directly on the grill and you gotta hear that sizzle. That's money. Don't touch it. Don't even look at it. Just let it do its thing. So now I just turn my steak 90 degrees and what I'm doing is a French technique and it's called like quadrillage or quadrillage, something like that. And basically what that means is like crosshatch. So your steak would look beautiful. They need to make a cologne or a perfume like this. All right, now I'm gonna flip this over. Oh, see this? I'm hungry. I get hungry very often. Now my steak is done. Now we're gonna pop it in the oven and let this continue cooking at 375. Look at that beauty. Put the foil on top of it. It's just gonna keep all those juices in there and keep it nice and warm. But now I'm gonna start on the last bit, the tempura fries. You're speechless. So I'm cutting these up into French fry-like shapes. Put them in water like these right here so that they don't oxidize. And just coat them in flour, then in the tempura batter. Drop them in very carefully. And these are gonna cook five to seven minutes. My fries look gorgeous. They're nice golden brown. Immediately after they come out of the fryer, season with salt. Now, we're going to plate all this up. And I know that these flavors are gonna be as big as Justin's hair. If this wasn't for Justin, I would eat this all right now. But I sort of have self-control. <laughs> Justin is gonna love my Korean-style steak with quick kimchi slaw and tempura fried potatoes. And I'm so excited! Let's go do it. Don't tell anyone. I can't wait for Justin to try this. Holy mackerel, well I'll be. It seemed they got a budget increase around here. Since your usual craft services, I'll tell you what. 
Mm. So creative, much balance. Hi. Whoa, hello, how are you? I'm good. Um, I'm Justin. I'm Scarlett. What are you doing in my green room? <laughs> I have made this for you. This is Korean barbecue marinated steak with a kimchi slaw and some tempura potatoes. How long have you been cooking? Like just since I was eight or nine and I'm 11 now. The depth of flavor in here is something that I can't teach people who have been cooking for ever. It's incredibly uh, balanced flavors and like perfectly cooked. It's uh, a real treat to eat. You should be really proud. Thank you. What are you going to do for the rest of your life? You've already mastered cooking. <laughs> I, I do want to own a restaurant when I get older. I, I work at restaurants right now, actually. Wait. I work the line and prep and stuff. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> In LA. Aren't there laws against this? <laughs> you should come check out my restaurant. We're always hiring. Especially if you can do things like this, I think we're going to have to issue some staff layoffs. Thank you so much for making this meal. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for watching my show. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making this dish for Justin.